Good morning all. I am Poonam Swapil Jadav, working as an assistant professor in Department of Computer Engineering, AISSMS, IOIT Pune. Today, we are going to see the inheritance concept of Java programming. Now, inheritance in Java is a mechanism in which one object acquires all the properties and behaviors of parent object. It is an important part of OPS, that is Object Oriented Programming System. The idea behind inheritance in Java is that you can create new classes that are built upon existing classes. When you inherit from an existing class, you can reuse methods and fields of the parent class. Moreover, you can add new methods and fields in your current class also. Inheritance represent that is a relationship which is also known as parent-child relationship. Terms used in inheritance. Class. A class is a group of objects which have common properties. It is a template or a blueprint from which objects are created. Subclass child class. Subclass is a class which inherits the other class. It is also called a derived class, extended class or child class. Superclass parent class. Superclass is the class from where a subclass inherits the features. It is also called as the base class or parent class. Reusability. As the name specifies, reusability is a mechanism which facilitates you to reuse the fields and methods of the existing class when you create a new class. You can use the same fields and methods already defined in the previous class. Now the syntax of Inheritance is class, subclass name, extends superclass name and inside it the methods and the variables are there. The extend keyword indicate that you are making a new class that derives from the existing class. The meaning of extends is to increase the functionality. Now the types of inheritance in Java is single, multi-level hierarchical where in single class B extends the properties of class A multi-level is class C inherits the properties of class B which in turn inherits the properties of class A hierarchical class B inherits the properties of class A class C inherits the properties of class A multiple class C inherits the properties of class A um, and inherits the properties of class B. But this is not possible in terms of classes in Java because it leads to the diamond ambiguity problem. Now here it is the hybrid where class B extends the properties of class A, uh, class C inherits the properties of class A, class D inherits the properties of class B and class C. Now let us see the example. Now here a class animal is there which is having a method in it called eat and the statement inside eat is written as eating. The class dog extends uh, the class animal. Here a method is there bark where a statement is given as barking. When we write, when we create the object of the dog class dog d equal to new dog and with the help of the object we call the methods d dot bark and d dot eat we get the output as barking and eating multi-level inheritance class shape now here in class shape display method is there inside the display method a statement is written as inside display now class rectangle extends shape here a method is there area inside area method a statement is written as inside area now class cube 
is written class cube extends the rectangle here a method volume uh, is written um, which is having the statement as inside volume when we create the object of the class cube 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 equal to new cube cube dot display will cube dot display will display inside display statement cube dot area will display um, inside area and cube dot value volume will display inside volume now here is an example of hierarchical inheritance now here class a in a method is written method a as and inside statement is written method of class a similarly class b is written method b is written class b is extending class a and a statement is written as method of class b class c extends a a method is written as method c and a statement is written method of class c class d extends a now here a method is written as method d and a statement method of class d when we create the object of the class b c d and call the method a so we get the output as method of class a now hybrid inheritance here in hybrid inheritance here a class is created human body inside it a uh, method is there display human now the two interface interface male and interface female is written where only the abstract method show is written after that a method child or oh, sorry after that a class child is created which is extending the human body class and implementing male and female then public void show here we implement the method show which is abstract in the interface male and female and write down the body for it now public void display child again a method is written as display child after that we create the object of the class child and to the object of the child class we call the method show and display child so we get the output as implementation of hybrid inheritance in java implementation of show method defined in interfaces male and female method defined inside the child class so in this way we have studied the concept of inheritance and the different types of inheritance in java thank you